Okay, we're going to continue on in uh, in chapter three here, and I want to talk about the, this equation. Um, we've got appropriations, encumbrances, expenditures, and available balance. Remember what I said in the uh, chapter three part one video about appropriations. Appropriations are budgeted expenditures. You've got to memorize that. Second term, encumbrances. Whenever a purchase order is issued, that money is encumbered or set aside. Encumbered or set aside. Expenditures are the uh, usage of funds, uh, and we see expenditures used in governmental funds. Governmental funds. Then we've got available balance. That's whatever is left over. Okay. I want to go through this equation. And let's just assume we have a budgeted expenditure of 500000 500000 I'm writing that up here. Okay. Let's say that a PO or purchase order is issued for $200,000. $200,000. So I'm going to write 200000 here under the encumbrances. When you think of encumbrances, I want you to think of purchase orders. Purchase orders. Now, we don't have any expenditures yet. We haven't expended any of the money. We just set it aside or encumbered it in the purchase order. So what will our available balance be? We start off with a budgeted expenditure or an appropriation of 500000 We've encumbered 200000 No expenditures yet. So we're just going to take the 500000 subtract the 200000 and that will give us an available balance of $300,000. Just simple math. Appropriation minus the encumbrance minus the expenditure, which is zero now, to come up with a $300,000 available balance. This is an important equation in governmental accounting. We didn't see it in financial accounting. We didn't see it in managerial accounting. But we are seeing it in our governmental accounting. You need to embrace this equation. You need to understand it. OK, we're going to take it a step further. Let's say the purchase order is issued and the goods have been shipped. We bought $200,000 worth of furniture, $200,000 worth of furniture. Our budgeted expenditure or the appropriation is still 500000 Now, when the goods are shipped and received, what will happen, the money will no longer be encumbered. The money will no longer be encumbered. So we're going to decrease our encumbrance by the 200000 because that we received all of the goods for 200000 and when we realize the expenditure, and we'll realize the expenditure at this point of 200000 and now our equation is still, or our appropriation is still 500000 That hasn't changed, okay? Our encumbrance is reduced to zero because the purchase order has been closed down. Now we're going to uh, realize the expenditure. We may not pay the company yet, but we're going to realize the expenditure. And with our equation, our appropriation of 500000 less our encumbrance of zero now, that the purchase order is closed, we've received the merchandise, the $200,000 worth of furniture for the governmental fund. And then we're going to realize the expenditure and our available balance will remain 300000 okay. this, this equation is very important, and there are a lot of different variations that can take place here. We may encumber 200000 but we may not get all of the merchandise. So we may have some money still encumbered. I just wanted to introduce that nuance to you about this equation. We're going to go into it in more depth in Chapter 4. I just wanted to let you see it and experience here in Chapter 3. Quick review. Appropriations, 
budgeted expenditures, encumbrances, money that is set aside when a purchase order is issued. When you hear the word purchase order in government, you need to immediately think encumbrances. Expenditures, we've defined that in the first three chapters. Okay? Um, monies that are spent, uh, expenditures are realized for items that are purchased or services that are received. And then finally, the available balance, what's left over? Okay. What have we got left to spend? We cannot overspend our original appropriation. That's why this is in place in the government. If the original appropriation um, is overspent, where will the money come from? We talked about in Chapter 3 how original budgets are increased. They are revised throughout the year. So if, say, if this is for fuel, and it's Wake County Public Schools, and the price of fuel has gone up, the appropriation would be increased sometime during the year, probably multiple times during the year. So we will have a final budgeted expenditure or an appropriation. Now, we're just talking about the expenditure side. We also will budget revenues as well. We will have estimated revenues as well. But I just want you to get a handle on this uh, equation. If you have questions, give me a call. Email me. I am happy to answer them. I look forward to hearing from you.